I'm Frank from Control Dynamics and I'd like to explain how our system works, the angle lock system. Here's what we call a heavy corner bracket and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bracket into this hydraulic fixture. This, this hydraulic fixture has a three inch hydraulic cylinder here. It steps down to one square inch. There's oil, did another one square inch piston after that. So we're reading pressure at one square inch. So it gives us pressure, um, reading pressure, pushing the bracket sideways. I'm gonna slide the, slide the bracket into position. What we do is we tighten the bracket up, snug it down, and then we'll torque it to 180 inch pounds. All right, we're torqued down. Let's see where we're at, we're at zero. You see the dial indicator is up against, the bolts are going in at an angle this way. We're gonna push it off its data. If you were to look inside, you would see that there's clearance on this side, so we're gonna push it off its data. Right now, it's perfectly square. Okay, if you were to put a dial indicator on here and measure the squareness of this thing, it's extremely square. So. What I want to show is showing this pushing this sideways, so we're going to put pressure on this bracket. I'm going to put a piece of steel in between here so we don't yield the aluminum. So what we're doing is we have a one millimeter clearance from the edge of the bracket to here. So we're pushing it, we could essentially push it over one millimeter, but you'll see what happens. So we'll tighten this up, we're going to push on it. You can hear it snap, pushing against it now. So we're putting pressure on it. You're gonna see the bracket deflect. It's gonna go sideways. And we're gonna run, we're gonna run the bracket, pressure up to 5,000 pounds, and we'll see where we're at. We're at about, we're at about 6 thousandths of an inch. It pushed it sideways. If you look inside, you'll see we still have clearance on the opposite side and there's a clearance right now where we push it off its data. Now what's interesting about this is when we release the pressure it goes back to zero. Now that's what's interesting about our product and all of our brackets everything works this way so everything goes up against the data we call it an angle lock. It locks. So this is how our, how our components work and this is how the system works. It's extremely interesting. So if you have an assembly, what happens is you have a matrix of these connections, which actually we call a cross-link connection. The actual, the actual uh, bracket or the nut is cross-linked with the bracket. So what happens is when you have a vibration or any kind of dynamic situation, if you exceed the amount of force that's pulled up against a datum, which you can see is an enormous amount of force, it will again snap back into position. Okay, so that's how our system works. It's a highly unusual system and it's designed specifically for dynamic situations and vibration. We have no vibration issues at all, period. So as we go down this path, you'll start to see all the different types of brackets that we have and systems that we have which you'll find, I think, really interesting in building a structure, reliable structure.